Hey there, huge thank you to all the names on screen right now. The Renegades who clicked the join button down below and contribute to the channel financially. Hugely appreciate them, my friends. If you do enjoy the content, we stream live at twitch.tv forward slash let's suffer together. But you can also click that like button, subscribe, and ring that bell if you want to be notified about when we put out fresh content most days. Enjoy the show, my friends. And uh, welcome back to another I'm Suffer of Let's Suffer Together back in the mountains, my friends. And today, oh, we're a speedy boy because we've got to get somewhere quick. Ooh, sizzling. <laughs> Hey, I hope you're having a great day. We're gonna do a little bit of science because on stream before I um, Was one trying to do some one science which we actually learned a hell of a lot today primarily about circular buoyancy and um, Various other things, but one thing Took me a bit by surprise that if it is true and we're gonna go for it in a sec yeah, I mean, I'm surprised it's not more well known but master of masters one of the spoilers. By the way, just in case that is a sum of what a concern for you in the boss fights of Nighter, you know, that's outside of the regular. Oh dear. Outside of the regular boss fights here in the game, we'll be uh, going to a specific boy with a specific agenda. Because there might just be a quite easy way of killing Master of Masters that I'm not sure has been put out there before. Um, I've never heard it and never seen it. So today. As we're chilling with our duck tentacle saw blade one, we're gonna go through three different things in order of how easy it is to find them. Now they're known as the personal spells, whether it's personal fireball thrower, personal tentacle, or personal lightning caster. If you shoot the enemy with these, they will then fireball burst into fireballs. If you shoot them with a tentacle. It will tentacle, you know? And if you shoot them with lightning... I can't shoot through that. If you shoot them with lightning, they will lightning, you know? And often, they will take damage because of that. Now, one thing I noticed today, and it's definitely part of the build I used, was that one of these two was able to eradicate Master of Masters on its own. Again, just... I know we've got other easy ways of killing it, and acid, and other stuff like that has been, you know, put to the forefront as an easy way to kill them before, but, uh, hey, I wanted to first have an attempt with Fireball Thrower, because Master, like Alchemist, um, obviously needs to take damage in a certain way, while Alchemist ends up being able to be killed with Personal Fireball Pro, it takes a lot longer than, say, something like Personal Tentacle. And Personal Tentacle is the perfect way of killing Ma uh, Alchemist. Just wipes them out within a few seconds, while Fireball Pro takes a bit longer. However, the way Master of Master presents, it's got a few orbs that surround it. The red orbs will reflect damage back to you. However, when it comes to the Personal Fireball, Personal Tentacle, and Personal Lightning, the damage sh shouldn't reflect back to you, so it's a safe way today of checking. What will happen? I do not fully know. However, we shouldn't have the shots that come out of Master. They, they shouldn't, you know, damage me in any way. And it should just be... Firstly, is it able to destroy the blue orbs? If it is able to destroy the blue orbs, is it then able to continue doing damage after the fact? And then after that, I've got something nice to show you. Well, um, just a way to break the game. Again, if you want to see thousands of nukes all at once, yeah, stick around. We've got something nice at the end. Just uh, as a nice little showcase. Where is it? There he is. So we're going to start off with the easiest personal fireball thrower. You'll find this, you know, from the first floor shop, really. But then, obviously, Tentacle's a little bit harder to find. Personal Lightning Caster after that. So, if this guy starts getting... If these blue orbs get destroyed or start taking damage... It's a good start. Because the explosive should hit into these. And they are. They are taking damage. And you can... While this is occurring... And I've given myself a setup where it's just going to be easy to test this. Of course, you might just want to hide in a wall here where he can't get to you. You know, just chill. 
His shots are quite mean. If anything, yep, yeah, one of the orbs has gone. No, it isn't. Oh, he put it behind a wall. Now, he can hide his orbs behind a wall, but it's just delaying the inevitable. And of course, I'm using weakest to most powerful as well, because if the fireball works, it's likely tentacle would work. Now, when I shot at Master before, I shot at him with a combination of personal tentacle and personal lightning caster, and I wasn't... Oh, one of the orbs is gone. So, since this works, again, considering this is the weakest, I would try these two. I definitely know one of these two works, and I'd be willing to bet personal lightning caster over tentacle up. Because tentacles coming out of this boy? I don't know. It might hit the orbs. Yes, right. Since it does destroy the orbs, and this is the weakest one of the bunch. Although, oh no, I shouldn't have shot him with that. Right, if after this, all the orbs aren't destroyed, we'll go at him with a tentacle. See if the tentacle destroys the orbs. Because if the fireball destroys the orbs, the electric explosive is going to dominate the orbs as well. So, yeah, we'll see about that. He got teleported by the man. Still being teleported, eh? Uh, you do you. We'll just witness. But if this is able to kill him... Now, we know one of these three can kill him. Because of the science they did before. But which one does which? Did he all damage? Ah, two orbs. So, again, you might have to reapply it if you're using fireball. And personal lightning caster, I guarantee you, is going to work. The only thing I don't know is personal tentacle. Now, once the orbs, the blue orbs, are gone, which there's only one remaining, so if you just want to stop firing for a sec, stop. Oh, we destroyed all his orbs with the personal fireball thrower on the second jizz. Because I kind of wanted to check out Tentacle. Now, if we know anything about boss fights, when it comes to fighting the alchemist, when you're fighting the alchemist it became a bit pervasive that you know you should use personal fireball thrower against the alchemist you probably shouldn't you should use tentacle because it kills him within five seconds with personal fireball thrower against the alchemist it it takes a long while for him to kill him because in combination with alchemist's shield another boss not this dude another boss up at the top over the tree in the alchemist's old alchemist forgotten lab the personal fireball throw will take quite a while to kill him because it requires a shield to work. If the alchemist is in terrain, it will hurt him as well. And you're trying to lodge alchemist in terrain so the fireball explosive hurts him. And then he brings up his shield and then it's just a uh, repetitive cycle. However, if you personal tentacle alchemist, it just destroys him within 5-10 seconds. It's just... It gets his shield up immediately. The tentacles just kind of make a rotation of death. However, again, I've got more love. I've got a load of stuff that protects me. He won't even shoot at me. So it hasn't in... I haven't taken anything that impacts these spells though. So I'm going to shoot him once more with this. Oh, I mean, if we see damage numbers, I don't think it is. I don't think... Oh, right. What I'm going to try and do, I'm going to try and get in the wall and try and make him follow me and try and let him hug a wall. And if he starts taking damage here... I don't think he is. I don't think he's taking damage. I don't think he's immune to explosive. Either way, it's very inefficient. So what happens if we... And I'm just going to assume that these aren't damaging. What happens if we tentacle now? Like, let's get him in a wall again. I really think it was the personal lightning caster that operated really well. I don't know if the tentacle... I was saying that the tentacles... Right. The one thing we can look at, if the tentacles hurt the orbs, then the tentacles will hurt the blue orbs as well. The orbs are just different colours. They do different things mechanically, but the red orbs take damage as well. And the tentacle is destroying the orb. So you can use both personal fireball thrower... You can use personal tentacle. You can use per personal lightning caster to destroy the orbs. However, when it comes to taking damage, like the actual body of the dude, 
And it's just not looking feasible for those two to finish off the job. And the problem is the red orbs are always going to be there to reflect damage back to you. If I shoot the red orb, I take damage. The glorious thing about these three is that if I shoot him, and these aren't working, so we'll start popping him off. He's going to start taking damage. I wonder if he's... I wonder if he go, gets down in liquid. If he can, Yeah, you see that damage? So this is what I mean. Whoa. Well, that was very handy that this little dude accelerated our little bit of science here today. Because if you just notice what happened, he was taking damage. He was bobbing up and down off the water. Electric explosive. If an electric bolt hits water, it explodes on the surface of the water. So the explosive element was within range to hurt him. And he kind of dipped in it as well for the electric. So as you are tentacling, as you are fireballing, as you are electrifying, he will start bleeding. And if he gets into the electric, maybe that does damage. But when it comes down to these three spells, it is definitely something there. Probably more lightning caster. And I love me a lightning caster, you know? Hey, when it comes to our good buddy Uko here at the Uko Preservation Society, hey, if you go around killing Ukos, you're doing yourself a real disservice. You know, this dude's a buddy old pal. You know, respect the man. Respect his territory, and he'll respect you. Maybe. Um, but there's one thing that I wanted to, you know, finish up with here today, and I hope that was uh, enlightening. And I hope if you have any questions, feel free to pop it down in the comments down below. But again, go with per personal lightning caster, and you'll have a good time. So it's one shot, basically. One spark bolt, one modifier that's quite cheap. All you need is a wand that has a 95 mana, you know, maximum. And you can just reapply it, you know, these things. And you can—you don't even need to be near the dude. You can hide in a wall. So the actual explosive or electric element, you don't even need to be anywhere near it. It just happens. These guys bob around, you know, taking damage. He's having a load of fun there. Now, if we're considering explosives today... I wanted to finish off by basically basically crashing my game. And something that I found really quite nice. At the end of the stream we did today. And it was just lovely. Actually, no, I need I only need to fire this once. But I need to rapid fire these. No, it's too slow. We need more chainsaws. We need more than that. Need more than that. Uh, it might be better if I do it first. There we go. So, this is a lot of projectiles, isn't it? How about if we turn them into nukes? <laughs> so, every single pixel of uh, the square barrier turned into a nuclear warhead with spells to nukes. Yes, this probably will crash the game, by the way. I wouldn't advise doing it, but if you want to create a glorious sun in your noiter, Rapid fire, square barrier into spells to nukes, my friends. And I thought this was just a nice little way to finish off the finish off the presentation. But I hope you enjoyed, you know, our little, um, you know, simplification of Master of Masters, the boss fight. That hey, again, considering how he shoots poly shots at you, you know, any sh like pit boss, like a few other bosses, like Colney later on, any boss that shoots poly shots at you. Um, is considerably dangerous. And anyway, we can simplify it. The, the thing is as well, I forgot to mention, there's a little, when you kill Master of Masters, there's a little turquoise stone he drops. That allows you to edit ones. You carry it in your inventory. When you want to edit, you just hold it in your hand. And you can then edit your ones. So you don't actually need edit ones everywhere. Tinker ones everywhere. The perk, you can have the stone. So killing this man, getting to him. And again... This dude, if you... You can get to this dude by either dropping down. You probably don't want to drop down. You probably want to go for, to the last level, the Temple of the Art. Going through the doors. You know the triangle door? Has it crashed? No, very nice. I might get to do it again while I'm explaining. Um, you can go from where I did. You can go from Colmy and then follow the Cursed Rock around. Like you go... Find the Cursed Rock, go down go right again and then just kind of you just end up going whoa, under it like a you know a nice little j shape or u shape or you can go through the temple of the art 
to the right where the door is and just follow the path kind of diagonally down and you'll find this place. But I don't want to, you know, have your own adventure in that regard. But I might be able to get to the... Oh, the explosions never end. It looks like I'm blowing up. <laughs> Fun now. Oh! <laughs> What's going on behind me? I don't know. Well, anyway, I would do another one, but you saw the first one. And you can just replay that if you wish. Ooh, it's speeding up. Ah, no, I want to do one more. I want to do one more. Oh, there's the turkey. Yeah, there it is. Oh, give it me. I want it. I want to... Yeah, there you go. Again, this is the... Um... Suvan Yidin. I'm sure that's how you pronounce it. I'm sure of it. Oh, yes. Anyway. My friends, thank you for taking the time to enjoy... To Ow. Yes, and the problem with nuclear weaponry is that. But you take it easy, my friends. Enjoy the rest of your day wherever you are in the world and uh, turn everything to nukes once more. Hey, click that follow button, subscribe, ring that bell. Enjoy the rest of your day. Hey, we stream live at twitch.tv forward slash let stuff together. If you, We did this naturally today, by the way. We didn't even use, use cheat GUI or anything. And we survived it as well. The game crashed. But I survived. Anyway, thank you for taking the time to enjoy today's video. I'll catch up with you soon, my friends. And, uh, yeah, click buttons around the place. It helps us out. And hopefully, uh, I'll see you again soon. Take it easy, guys. Much love. Peace.